we're currently on part 8, which is Snowy Reindeer, uh, which is placed on the top line. So it's the third one we're doing, and it's going to look like this when it's done. So we are starting to close in to the end. Um, there is more stitching at the bottom here, I know, than I always think. But both of the threes are done. Uh, hopefully we'll, we will finish at least one reindeer, if not two reindeers today. And maybe start uh, getting a good chunk of this um, snowy hill round. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into stitching. I'm gonna zoom you in. There. Um, we can start stitching. So, everything in this series I got from Patchwork Rabbit in the UK. They have a um, pattern of the month that you can subscribe to where you then decide how many of the patterns in a series you want to get each month and um, you can decide if you want fabric to do it individually or all on one big piece you decide if you want the floss the DMC floss and the specialty floss uh, each their own you can decide. So if you want, you can get the the specialty floss, but not the DMC if you think you have more than enough DMC. Something weird has happened on this needle. I don't know if you can see that, but the, that one is loose. So this one is the issue. I'm always surprised how that happens. I have experienced that before, but usually I can just flip the floss that are excess to the other side the eye of the needle and it will work out but this time it doesn't it doesn't help at all but I got it off the floss is most likely going to be very weak there because uh, a part of the floss is peeled off now This is starting to give me problems. We're up to a good start today. At least got it threaded and let's see how long that will last. I hope to finish these stitches, you see. Because if I can finish these stitches, and start a new floss for the legs. So. was that now I can do the white if you remember last time I wanted to get the white done on this reindeer so I can start doing the white on the other reindeer and that's just 
me not wanting to have another uh, another thread of the same color parked. On, on the fabric. Like in all honesty, it wouldn't be a problem because there is enough white at the bottom section that these lengths would have been used if I had two lengths hanging around. Um, when it's when the the color goes in this stairway method it's no problem stitching upwards because as you can see I go down here and the next I go up there so there's no real jumps with the floss uh, the the stitches still look nice so Now I can trail off this side and go down again. And then Secure the floss with a pin stitch underneath another pin stitch, a pin stitch underneath a, a cross stitch. And then I can go over and do what I wanted to do over here. Sorry about that noise, that's my stomach rumbling. Apparently I'm starting to get hungry, even though I don't feel hungry. I have to say, these reindeers are stitching up really nice. I, I do love how they are turning out. For each stitch, they just look better and better.
then draw a swirl of stitch over here in white. Then it's going to be part down here. So now I can go and do this brown color. I'm going to do half a pin stitch because I want to jump over here so I can trail off and stitch this side of the reindeer. So I did it this way because I like better to trail up than trail downwards. And I want to end back here because there is a foot coming just over there. I want to do the leftmost foot first. And then I can do the other ones. So now there's going to be a jump again, so I'm going to do half a pin stitch under this cross stitch because, because of that jump. It just makes the stitches look a tiny bit better, like they're, it's not it's not a huge difference, but it's enough for me that I can notice. And then I can go down this foot. How many stitches? Six stitches. I'm doing my first cross of the leg the same way, even though I'm trailing straight down. Maybe that was a dumb thing to do. Yep, I want to do these thick stitches one at a time going down. Because I will rather trail, as I said, upwards than downwards. I'm just counting as I am stitching. And the last one. This length doesn't have much more to go on, so I'm going to. Finish it off. I'm going to do half 
a leg here and then I'm going to jump up here to the pin stitch under this leg because uh, I now I need to do a pin stitch here most likely for the new color that is going to be the hoofs of the reindeer. Again, I'm so sorry for my stomach making sounds today. Like, I don't know what it is. It's not that long ago I did eat, and as I said, I don't feel hungry. And it's not those sounds because the stomach is trying to process what I did eat. It's, it's growling sounds because it's hungry. I, I don't get it. Like, I did eat not that long ago. I haven't been filming that long. Have I? I don't think so. But that means after this video is filmed, I need to go and eat. But as you know, these videos are pre-recorded, so when you see them, it's a long time ago I actually made them. So don't worry, by the time you see this, my stomach will have gotten some food more than once. Okay, so this finishes up the last white stitch on the reindeers. Because, uh, no, this doesn't finish up the last white stitching on this project. <laughs> um. There is quite a lot of white stitches. I don't mind at all. Like I, I really like how it's looking on this pearl gray linen. The white stands uh, out really nicely. Like. Yeah, it, it's just beautiful. Um, so, I don't mind. Um, instead of putting this white floss away, I'm going to bring you over here so I can secure the white floss and have it hanging here where I'm going to use it the next time I'm stitching on this place it's just putting the floss away and doing all that fiddling it usually still steals away a little bit of time so if it's if it's not too much to count to be able to park the floss in this one, there's almost no counting at all. Then that's what I will do. I can go ahead and do this first leg. First leg, first stitch. Um, And park it over here. I often like to stitch over my pin stitches if I can. So back to the reindeers because that's what we're trying to finish. Oh no, it's starting to grow again. Seriously, I don't get it. At least I should feel hungry if I really am hungry. I think it's just my stomach. 
always wanting to have food. I think the big problem is that I have been trying to reduce how much I'm eating before I go to bed. Like I have a tendency to be really snacking before I go to bed. And I think that I started to, to make it so my, my stomach is growling a lot more when I wake up after I have a, f a few minutes after I, I have eaten um, breakfast. I don't know, maybe it's because my stomach doesn't have much food in there right now and that's why it's growling. Let me see. Six. And I got some good news today. My husband has gotten work for uh, one more half of a year. And with how the rules are in Norway, it's in the same uh, school that he has been. He's a teacher. Um, when you see this, he most likely will have started to work, but that half a year makes it so he has been working at the same place for two and a half years, uh, not having, having, just getting like months to months or, um, a partial, uh, work, nothing, um, I don't remember what what it's called when you get work like you're you're hired for forever <laughs> um, so when he then reaches the point to two and a half year he has a lot more rights uh, which makes it so it's almost impossible for them now uh, to get rid of him and after he has worked a total of three years, which is not like permanent, that's the word, permanent, um, he, oh no, there is, that's why I wanted to do the stitches up there. Um, I'm just pin stitching because I don't want to do a long jump so yeah uh, then it's almost impossible for them to get rid of him so they have to they almost have to give him something for the last half of the year afterwards and then when he hits three years there is a rule that says they have to hire him and give a permanent job so it, it it's still not a done deal uh, because often the schools and stuff will try uh, to get away and cheat the system because they, um, they, in a way, they have too many teachers in the schools because they kind of need non-permanent teachers because there is a lot of illnesses going around people getting pregnant and stuff like that so they have needed him for two and a half year but that doesn't mean they want to hire him permanently but um hopefully we have good um unions in all way so told him he needs to contact the unions and uh, get to know all his rights now because I know he gets a lot more rights uh, when it's two and a half year so that 
if they don't want to keep him for for that last half a year and then not hiring him permanent uh, that we can fight fight them so he do get hired um so that's really good. If if that happens, that will be such a huge re relief because then we know we have a permanent income always coming from his side. Because since I am sick and I'm fighting on the healthcare system in Norway on my side, um, things are a little bit rough. But that's also something currently in progress me fighting the health healthcare system in Norway so hopefully 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 I can also get some if I'm declared too sick to to go back to work for several years, I do get a permanent income that can never be taken away from me. Um, so that's what I'm fighting f to get. Uh, so if I get that and he gets a permanent job, then our economical situation will improve immensely and a lot of the stress I have been dealing with since we moved up here to this town will get a solution because not having a safe economical future that that's really stressful um, so yeah, so just need to try and do the best out of the situation we are in. Again, I'm prioritizing going over doing this reindeer just because I have the floss on my needle instead of doing the hoofs on the other one, which is the last four stitches to finish up that reindeer. So. And the same will be on this one, when I have done the legs, there's still four more stitches left in the same colors that are missing on the first reindeer. And it's, uh, it's the same color we did the French knots in, it's the 30031. 30, 31, uh, that dark, dark brown color. I really like that color. That, that is a good color, the dark brown. Like it's not something I would have on my walls and it's not a color like I would use when I'm dressed. But I like the color for stuff like, um, it's very similar to the color I have on one of my dining room tables, which is actually our gaming table for ga um, tabletop games, board games. Um, we actually bought it with that in mind, being the perfect table to play on <laughs> because it has... Um, no rounded parts on the table. Uh, so the top of the table is like a big block 
of rectangle wood all over and that is so nice when you play board games uh, because those rounded edges really steal a lot of place on the table and if you have ever played the board game you know you need a lot of place on the table um, so so yeah that that one is actually that color it's a special type of wood that you can't get a lot of places because we bought it second-handed uh, by a family that came from I think was it Pakistan they said they were from it's one of the countries in the Middle East and it's one of those uh, woods that you actually aren't allowed to to have in Norway uh, but the thing is, if it's already been made into a table and they brought it with them from where they lived, where it's legal to make that kind of wood into tables and stuff, uh, it's legal to get it into the country. It's just not allowed to bring the wood to the country to make floors or walls and stuff like that. So we bought that from them for almost nothing. They they were just wanting to get rid of the table. And it's uh, very unique because as I said, you can't get that wood in Norway. And that's so nice. Unfortunately, I have no clue what the wood is called in English and I'm not even going to try. Um, so yeah, it's... Um, it's a really dark wood that I love. <laughs> and unfortunately, I can't get that. <laughs> I don't... I can't afford importing something from the Middle East to Norway. Like, that would be too expensive. But I have the table, and I love the table. And uh, we inherited from... My son's great 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 grandma, she actually had a frame in the same wood uh, and a picture. So uh, we usually have that picture with that frame close to where the, um, the table is. Um, and we also have like this um, closet with, with glass door on top and not at the bottom to just to like showcase pretty stuff in um which is also inherited by the same woman um my son's great 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 grandma and it is my husband's great 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 grandma um which is the same color. So it's, uh, I think it's really nice having, because at the time she got that kind of word, uh, she had a husband and I think one of her sons were, worked on boats. Um, that's a popular, uh, that was a popular place to work in Norway going back some generations so um, I think I think both of those things have been brought with with them overseas when they worked on the boats I actually think her husband was ended up being captain on a boat that traveled a lot around so it usually is fishing boats but they tend to sometimes have to travel out a lot and yeah there is a lot of other boats to work on also so so yeah that's uh, that's really fun so I like this color so having that color in project that I'm stitching makes it also um, nice project to be have 
to be to have hanging in the living room uh, with the dining room table because we have that in the living room or our board game table and um, because it, it the colors will automatically fit the furniture so that's fun so yeah did I say I like this color and I also think I like it because it's it's so close to black without being black like I'm a real big fan of those darker colors I'm just them and that is also why even though we don't celebrate like a lot of Halloween in Norway it has become more and more the the last couple of years so hopefully we'll we will have like big Halloween celebration like the US in a few years time um, but I am always drawn to the Halloween patterns like even the prim ones I, I really enjoy like I love all the Halloween patterns I think it's because all of the dark colors used in them which really makes me want them so one reindeer fully done and since there is only four stitches left and we are way over our time limit for when I usually end because even though I tend to try and keep it to 45 minutes that's with saying goodbye and when I'm editing the inserting of the pictures and stuff so I need to try and keep it <laughs> even less than stitching.